Hey, it's Marcus, the co-host of this channel, and welcome to a late night video of Indigenous Podcast. Tonight, I got a really special treat for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go over my DNA results, and before I get into that, I'm going to go into as to why I wanted to do this and what resource did I use. Um, first off, as most of you know, uh, I was adopted. Uh, I was born in Lima, Peru. Uh, I was there for about a few months, maybe six months. And then I came here to um, the Midwest part of the United States in Illinois. Um, uh, moved around a lot, but I've mostly lived around you know, the Midwest area. So growing up as a kid, I it was mostly you know very you know Caucasian African American uh, area where I, I lived. Um, I didn't really uh, socialize with anyone you know, from South or Central America, um, and I didn't really think of race that much. It wasn't until you know, middle school or high school, you know, I, I saw the term Hispanic, Latino, and I saw that it was, you know, it was just an ethnicity. It's not necessarily a race. Um, so of course, I always like wondered, there must be more to it. Um, so throughout college, I did a lot of research um, and readings over you know, Native Americans, um, life you know, in South America and Central America, the history, um, and finally it led, you know, to where I am right now, as far as what I wanted to do. And I managed to find ancestry.com and I got a lot of help. So yeah, so I did use ancestry DNA. Um, here's a box here. Basically how this works is you put, um, you get this in the mail, you apply to it on the website, this will be sent to you. And there'll be a little tube in here. And all you gotta do is just spit in the tube. There'll be instructions here for how to do that. Um, and then there'll be a little small box where you will put that tube inside and then mail it back to wherever <laughs> ancestry, uh, the people that work here are at. Um, now, because it was COVID, it took a little bit longer, a couple months for me. So maybe uh, if you weren't, if you were doing this and it wasn't COVID, it wouldn't take as long. Um, I strongly recommend people to do this who really are interested in finding their ancestors, especially um, for people that, you know, are Native American um, or, or adopted just like me um, that don't know their, uh, any of their ancestors. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, I'm really looking forward to this because I, you know, I've been curious for a very, very long time and I hope you guys can all get to see <laughs> my reaction. Um, so we're going to explore here and see what is going on. And ooh, here we are. Let's discover the DNA. And I think I see, I think it's 63. Wow. Um, that is actually, I'm somewhat surprised. 66% Indigenous uh, American or, or the Andean. Uh, so yeah, central Peru, um, central, uh, south, southern Peru, and also Bolivia. Um, just for a little bit of history for you guys, uh, Peru, Bolivia, like before Spanish colonization, um, the Incan Empire had ruled over um, Peru and Bolivia and much of the western part of South America. Um, so many people from Peru mm -hmm. and Bolivia, um, particularly those that are indigenous, you know, look somewhat similar to one another. Um, so I am at 66%. I well, thought it would be a little bit more, um, but I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm, I'm satisfied. Um, so let's go back and see what else. Did, okay, Spain, so 23%. Yeah, so for those of you guys that know, you know Spain colonized a lot of South and Central America. Um, There's a lot of immigrants that came from Spain and Europe um, that settled in Lima. Actually, it kind of makes sense because um, with the 23% uh, Spanish, because um, Lima has a lot of um, immigrants, you know, people that are uh, of Spanish descent that live in Lima, the bigger cities, uh, and I think Arequipa, I probably butchered that, but in that city as well. Um, so that's not a huge surprise. I am actually, I thought it would be a little bit lower, but you know, 21 to 23%. Um, and then for the other one, I thought I saw, okay, Indigenous America. So Yucatan Peninsula, that's interesting. Um, so a lot of Mayans lived in this area in particular. Um, so there must've been some sort of migration pattern. Um, so I am actually going to add that to 66. So more closely to like 70% Indigenous, if you look at it that way. Um, but that is still pretty cool. So Mayan and 
possibly I might have, you know, Incan ancestors, depending on uh, if I can locate more of uh, going further back in my ancestral tree and um, finding more information. And then for here, I have Cameroon and the Congo. Um, I am very surprised. I didn't think I would have African DNA. Um, there's also Basque as well, which is in Spain. Um, and then European Jewish. It's interesting because I've actually seen a few videos that uh, <laughs> people are surprised that they have Europe uh, Jewish DNA as well. Um, and then 1% Northern African and 1% Nigerian. Where's this Northern African? And, okay, it's gonna go all over. Um, actually with the Congo, um, you know, Cameroon, that might make a little bit of sense because there were a small amount of, I mean, it's not as significant as Brazil, but a lot of African slaves were sent to Peru um, at the time. Um, of course, like a lot of assimilated um, with the uh, you know, native society in Spaniard. Um, so that might actually make a little bit of sense. But other than that, I am I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I did think my indigenous DNA would, <laughs> I thought it would be at 70 or 80%. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop this. So um, for, yeah, just a little bit of reflection. Uh, as I said before, I thought, I'd, I thought maybe I'd have 90% indigenous, but um, I am around like 6'2". So at least in Peru, there weren't that many people that that were six two, um, so having like African or I mean, but there were some natives that that were somewhat tall. I think the Mapuches and a few other native tribes um, back when the Spaniards had first encountered these native um, Native Americans, and of course African people might that might also the DNA might have a significant um, reason as to why I am a little bit taller than a lot of other people. Um, but yeah. Other than that, you know, I would highly recommend you guys to, if you guys are ever interested, to use Ancestry DNA. These seem mostly accurate. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, we will see you guys next time.